नमस्कार दोस्तों वाओ हैप्पी सेवेंथ फिफ्थ बर्थडे टू इंडिया एंड हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस टू एवरी सिंगल पर्सन वाचिंग मी दिस मोमेंट Guys, in today's video, we are going to watch Indians' achievement at 75. This video has been trending on YouTube, and yes, I'm so glad a subscriber recommended this to me, and a friend of mine called that guy Vic also reacted to this video. So I'm so happy that um, at least a subscriber asked me to um, react to this video. I'm going to put a message here. A big shout out to him. Without wasting much time. Let's go straight into it. But before that, if you're new to this channel, this is very important, guys. Subscribe to this channel, like, comment, share this video with your friends. You're going to be entertained on this platform. Trust me. And yes, let's go straight into it. It's the eve of India's 76th birthday. 75 yes. years ago, at midnight, India made a tryst with destiny. An independent India was born. It was drained. Mm. Is India 75 or 76? Divided, but desperate to make it on its own. How has the journey been so far? Tonight we look at India's achievements at 75, the success stories at 75. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay. There's so much to talk about. It's been a stupendous journey of 75 years. We decided to start with the economy. The British Crown looted 45 trillion dollars from India. From raw materials to the Kohinoor diamond, the British took all. They also exploited all. The thumbs of Indian weavers were cut off. Indian peasants were crushed. The brightest jewel in the British crown was left with the prospect of a dim future. Britain de-industrialized India. At the time of independence, India's per capita income was two thirty rupees. That's two point eight nine dollars. The average income was one fifteenth of what an average American earned. There was poverty, hunger. The task before India was to lift itself, and it did. There was rapid industrialization, three successful revolutions: green, white, and blue. India Whoa. opened itself to the world, globalized its economy, privatized its banks. Seventy-five years later, India is one of the world's leading economies. From less than three dollars, India's per capita income has grown to almost two thousand. Its share in the world GDP is three point two eight percent. Seven decades back, India was an import-dependent country. Today, more and more global companies are making in India, and Indian companies are making a mark globally. India is wow. becoming a force to reckon with in more ways than one. Which brings us to geopolitics. India successfully navigated the Cold War. It became a political force for decolonization. India liberated Bangladesh. It reached out to Africa, successfully de-hyphenated Israel and Palestine, stuck strategic partnerships with the Gulf. India isolated Pakistan. When India and Pakistan had a dog fight, the world supported India. When Pakistan tried to make an issue out of Kashmir, the world again supported India. Today, world powers see India as an important partner, a leading voice in multilateral forums, the face of peace, the loudest cheerleader of counterterrorism. Of course, the journey has not been easy. Right after independence, India made some bad decisions, like letting go of a Security Council seat. Then there were security challenges. 1948, Pakistan's incursion into Kashmir. 1962, the war with China. 1999, the war in Kargil. The current standoff in Ladakh. But on every such occasion, India showed the world that it's capable of defending itself. Yes. Capable yes. Capable of resisting any attempt to redraw its map. Yes. India has taught the world tolerance, universal acceptance, and none of it was easy. You may recognize this man, Winston Churchill, Britain's former prime minister. Churchill mm -hmm. had dismissed India's experiment with self-governance. Why? Because India is socially diverse. Twenty-two languages, twenty thousand dialects, numerous religions, numerous wow. regions. Churchill said, insane. "India is merely a geographical expression. It is no more a single country than the equator." He was convinced that independent India won't be able to stay together. Well, Churchill was wrong. <laughs> India He remains wrong. united and grows stronger. Its success as a secular state has surprised many. Of course, there have been ups and downs. India survived a partition, the Babri Masjid demolition, Operation Blue Star, what followed the Gujarat riots. But which country does not have rough patches, and which country can claim to be this diverse? In the initial years post independence, it was tough keeping the country together. One of the big challenges was public health or the lack of it. In 1947, the average life expectancy in India was 32 years. 
There was rampant spread of communicable diseases like malaria and tuberculosis. In 1947, India registered 75 million cases of malaria. Its total population was 330 million. So almost 23% of the population had malaria. By 1964, wow. the numbers came down. Then there was polio. Until early 1990s, every day around 500 children were getting paralyzed. India fought polio and declared itself polio free by 2014. Today, India's wow. polio eradication is a case study of healthcare success for the world. India also eradicated smallpox. And as we speak, India is running the world's largest vaccination program. Yes, India's healthcare system is one true. of its biggest achievements. We hardly appreciate it because there's a lot that's not right. But that when you look at true. where we started, the achievements look astounding. Around the time of independence, 2,000 mothers died for every 1 lakh childbirths. 2,000. Wow. Today, that number is down to 103. Wow. Also, look at the increase in life expectancy. It's over 100%. This is one of the most important indicators of human development. Today, India is called the world's pharmacy. It exports medicines to 200 countries. That is true. That is true. Another feather in the cap is technology. India decided that to go true. to space just 17 years after independence. It set up INCOSPAR, or Indian National Committee for Space Research. India's first rocket launch happened in 1963 from a town called Thumba. Wow. Thumba. Rocket parts were transported on bicycles and bullock carts. Look at this photo. This is how India's space journey began. Today, India is a well-established space power. It has reached Mars. Today, India is unfurling yes. the tricolor in space to mark 75 yes. years of independence. Yes. You know, India was also the first country yes. outside the permanent UNSC members to test a nuclear bomb. And it did this despite the world's best efforts. Reports say the CIA killed an Indian scientist to roadblock the nuclear journey. The US had even deployed a satellite wow. over India to spy. So work on the nuclear test was mostly done during the night and equipment would be returned to the original place in the morning to evade detection by American satellites. Code names were used. The thermonuclear device, for example, was placed in a shaft named White House. On the 18th of May 1974, India took the world by surprise. It became a nuclear power. The operation was called Smiling Buddha. The director of India's Nuclear Research Institute, Raja Ramana, told the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, Buddha has smiled. How did India achieve all of Buddha this? Buddha has smiled. One, democracy. <laughs> Two, literacy. From the very first day of independence, every adult in India had the right to vote. And just for yes. reference, it took the US 150 years of independence to adopt universal adult franchise. In the last 75 years, India's population has grown from 370 million to 1.4 billion. Billion? States have wow. reorganized. This is insane. But the sanctity of elections has never been compromised. They're chaotic, yes. They're controversial. But they're held without fail every five years. Voters queue up in front of booths. Some cast their vote. Some vote their caste. But all of them exercise their right. And there have been dark periods. Like the emergency in 1975, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was facing protests. Her future in office was uncertain, so she declared a 22-month-long emergency. Democratic institutions were attacked, politicians were locked up, the press was censored. But it did not last. And that's the thing about India's story. It's far from perfect. There's corruption, there's inefficiency in everything else that we keep complaining about. Yet, India's democracy has delivered. It has yes. alleviated poverty built world-class infrastructure and sent Indians to space to win gold medals and beauty pageants wow. and to lead the world's biggest companies. Wow. Literacy has played an important role here. When India this became insane. independent, four out of five people could not read. The literacy Whoa. rate was around 12%. For India to grow, it had to educate its people. It made free education a fundamental right. Schemes wow. like Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan and Midday Meal ensured that children found their way to schools. India expanded its educational infrastructure. In 1947, India had only 28 medical schools, four dental colleges and 33 engineering colleges. Look at the numbers today. The India that could neither read nor write is now the world's biggest talent pool. Top engineers, doctors, yes. Indian origin CEOs all bear testimony to India's growth and transformation. Wow. Wow. Today's India wow. is home to 1.4 billion people. It is progressive, 
yet rooted in its culture and values. It is home yes. to the world's youngest population, the world's largest democracy, the world's largest film industry, the world's yes. largest diaspora population, the second largest yes. network, a leader in climate wow. action, a market that every company wants to enter and a strategic force that every government wants to partner. Today, as India celebrates its historical achievements, it also has a clear vision of the future. This is India at 75. Wow. Wow. Wow, guys. I've learned so much from this video, guys. This is insane. Wow. I know most of you, some Indians watching this video right now, don't even know that something like this existed or like something like this happened especially to the nuclear weapon like the bombs and all those things i was really amazed i know most of you will be amazed too especially those who are watching me outside india i know you guys are going to be amazed and surprised you're all going to open your mouth like this right <laughs> i know most of you are doing that right now but anyways that's so much wow if you enjoyed this video just subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends so happy independence once again to you all peace